Hey there folks, I wanted to show you something that I picked up a couple, actually it was a couple weekends ago. This is a 1957 Wisconsin TH engine. I always, I always thought these things were cool. You can see it's an inline twin. It weighs about 250 pounds. They are heavy, heavy little suckers. So far it seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, it's got, so this one has a starter on it. It's got a generator and then there's a distributor that's run off the end of the generator and so these could be configured a number of ways you could have just a hand crank model with a magneto right where the generator would be and that would be the simplest version and then uh, later models also had an under flywheel alternator which would be nice because this setup here I think is for six volts but um, yeah I'm looking forward to getting this thing running I had it running on some starting fluid but I couldn't get any gas into the carburetor, so I think I gotta clean the carburetor. And then I can try and see if it'll fire on gas. I've got the oil bath air cleaner too, I just gotta put it on. But uh, I gotta put a head gasket in it because it has a compression leak in the number two cylinder. I can hear it when the when that back cylinder comes up on compression, I can hear an air leak coming out from the head. So I'll put a head gasket in it and see uh, if that fixes it. Hopefully it should. And uh, you can hear this thing run. There's about half a dozen different models of these Wisconsin Twins. This one is a TH, and it's a three and a quarter by three and a quarter bore and stroke, which makes it just about 54 cubic inches. This particular one makes 16 and a half horsepower at 2600 rpm max now if it was a thd or a tjd then it could turn 3600 rpm and make up to 18 horse but uh, still still a nice size engine i would really love to put this on a 400 series gravely um, that'll be an interesting project but this motor in particular has a couple things going for that. One is it's got this side discharge manifold, which is good if I want to try to put it under the Gravely because most of these have a manifold that discharges up, which wouldn't be very well for trying to fit it under the Gravely seat pan. So that helps. And then it does have flange mount bolts right there. I don't know if this engine had a clutch on it originally or if it, for whatever reason, it was specced with those holes. But, um, so I could conceivably make an adapter plate for this and um, maybe I'll talk to um, Guthrie Repower about their repower kits that they have 
because conceivably you could make an adapter plate and then maybe a little stub shaft that could fit onto this. And uh, I just think it'd be so cool to put it on a Gravely. It'd have to be a rider, obviously, probably a 400 series. But that would be really cool. It's got a Zenith carb on it. Pretty typical on your Wisconsins. And yeah. You'll see more of this thing. I'll put a head gasket in it and I'll clean the carb and uh, see if we can make this thing run. I'll see you guys later.